Hello everybody, this is Andrew, also known as Nature Man. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Stow Pillar White Pine. It is probably the most upright white pine, even more than the fastigiate uh, variety, which is commonly found on the market. This one is more rare and might be difficult to find in nurseries, but if you are able to find one, I highly recommend getting it. Um, it can be used as a replacement for an emerald green arborvitae, um, and it'll grow only to 12 foot tall, but stay only three foot wide. Regular white pines can get 100 foot tall by 40 foot wide, and the fastigiate form still gets 100 foot tall and still spreads 30 feet so it's it's not an ideal spot if you're putting it close to a foundation or in a small space uh, which that's why i despise the uh just the regular fastigi form because it's it's very narrow when young but it still gets very large with age the stow pillar white pine does not get large no matter how many years you have it you can have it for 30 years and it'll stay small uh, it'll only get 10 to 12 foot tall i said by about three foot wide so it's perfect, uh, actually about the same size of a mature emerald green arbor variety, maybe even a little bit smaller. As you guys are probably pretty familiar, it's that uh, narrow uh, plant used as screening across much of the eastern and uh, U.S. Um, the stow pillar white pine, you know, very soft needles, like they're not pokey, like they're soft as a feather. And they are. And what I like is that they have a little more blue color than a regular white pine, like I have one right here. They do have a hint of blue on them, but they stay mostly green. These are regular white pines in my yard. The Stow Pillar has much more of a richer green to blue color, um, which I like. Still very soft and it's just it's very narrow. I was able to get this one in my local nursery and I'm very, very pleased about it. I highly recommend it for your yard. They're hardy in zones three through seven. So, I mean, they'll tolerate down to about 30 below zero uh, Fahrenheit. They grow in full sun to filtered shade. They won't grow in full shade, but you actually can have them grow in 60 or even 70% forest cover, uh, so long as they get that some uh, dappled sunlight. And they will also tolerate morning sun with some late afternoon shade, but uh, they do perform best in full sun. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful plant. I highly recommend it for your yard. They'll grow in a variety of soils from uh, clay soils to sandy, um, but they do prefer like a loamy soil because uh, they can get chlorosis and a high alkaline. So if you do have a lot of clay, like in Indiana, just amend the soil, put some compost in it. It'll really help. And if you can apply a good layer of compost every year and a good layer of mulch, uh, make sure to keep the mulch away from the base then uh, you'll be good. As I've seen white pines, they survive. They only get chlorosis in severe alkaline soils. They'll be fine in slightly alkaline. And that's the care guide for your Stow Pillar white pine. I really hope you guys can find one because they're perfect. They're still underused in the landscape because they're a fairly new variety and they're very uh, difficult to find. But if you are able to find one, I highly suggest getting it. It's just beautiful. Well, this is Nature Man signing off. Bye.